Let's add a full armor effect to our mod. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses, such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles, and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Alrighty, friends, back in the desert once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom full armor effect to our mod. What does that mean? Basically, if you're wearing a full suit of armor of all of the same material, then you're going to get an armor effect applied to your character. And to do this, we're going to make a custom new class that's going to be in the item custom package, and this is going to be the mod armor item here in this case, and we'll extend the armor item class. So this is the armor item class. There you go. We're going to hover over this, create constructor matching super, and now the implementing. When it comes to the implementing, I'm going to copy over sort of method by method. All of the code here is, of course, linked in the description below, and the mod armor item class is also linked as a gist for easy access. It is fairly straightforward and is actually not that complicated, and we're going to go through and explain everything. So first of all, we have a material to effect map. What does that mean? Well, here we put in the custom arm material that we have. And then here we make a new status effect instance of whatever effect we want to apply with the duration, its amplifier, then ambient particles and true, basically just whether or not you want to well, basically show the particles. If you want to show the icon, you may, might also be like, actually, I don't even want to show the icon. You could also turn this to false. That's totally fine. Whatever you basically want to do here. And once again, this is a normal map. So if you have a second armor material, literally just do another put over here with the other armor material. This only works with custom materials. It does not work with vanilla ones. Very important thing to know, right? So very straightforward, all things considered. And then let's continue. We're going to go sort of in reverse order. So we're going to go in order of logic. So every time I'm going to basically copy something over, there's going to be an error in there, but we're then going to fix it by adding the other next method that is in there, basically. The first method to override in here is the inventory tick method. And that method gets called every tick that you have this particular item in your inventory. The first thing we're going to check, hey, are we on the server, right? So if we're not on the client and whether or not the entity that has this particular armor item in their inventory, is that a player entity? If this is true, then we're going to cast it to a player. And we're also going to ask, does the player have a full suit of armor on? In the has full suit armor on, in that method, we're actually only checking whether or not the player has all of their armor items, well, basically filled out. So we can take a look at this right here, has full suit of armor on. Basically, we're just checking whether or not that that the helmet, breastplate, leggings, and boots item stacks are all not empty. And if this is the case, then we can continue to the evaluate armor effects method. That method looks like this, and it basically goes through the entirety of the material to effect map. In this case, it's just one entry. However, if you had like 12 different armor sets, right, 12 different armor materials, then you of course want to go through this. We're getting the armor material right here, as well as the status effect, and basically then just asking, hey, do we also have the correct armor on? Basically now checking whether or not all of the different materials of the armor that we have on match. And that method looks like this. Now, the both the has full suit of armor on, as well as the has correct armor on methods, could in theory also be done with streams. However, I personally think that this is totally fine, and the logic here should be fairly sound. Now, this is extremely important. This for loop right here, you have to have this. If you don't have this, then your game is going to crash. If you ever have one of your mod armor items on in your inventory or in your in your helmet slot, for example, when you, for example, add an elytra, because an elytra is not an armor item, and then casting it to an armor item is going to throw an exception. So please pay attention. This is needed. Otherwise, it's going to crash your game. And when we basically are sure that the player has the correct armor on, then we can confirm and we can basically add the effect material to the player. And you could basically see right here, we're basically taking the player and asking, hey, do they already have this particular status effect, right? And if this is not the case over here, then we're going to apply that effect. And the effect is applied by making a new status effect instance and passing in the old status effect instance right there. You cannot just use the old one. If you use this one, then you're going to get the issue that it's going to work once and then never again. Please be sure to copy over this basically by passing it into a new instance rather than taking the same. And that is actually everything that there is to it. It really isn't that complicated. You might have to go through this class once or twice more to fully understand it. But overall, this is fairly you know, basic to maybe intermediate Java over here. It's nothing too insane. And then the last thing that we need to do, we can see that this is gray because we're not using it. So in the mod items, 
one of our custom items over here is going to be now the mod armor item. So let's, for example, say the helmet over here is going to be the mod armor item. Because we have to have all of them equipped anyway, we can designate any one of them. You can also designate all of them, but usually in theory, one of them should be fine because in this case, inventory tick method is going to tick for each of them. So it's just going to waste resources if we have this for all of them. We actually have added everything that we need. So let's jump into the game and see our custom armor item effect for the first time. All right, fans, let's go back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the haste effect has been applied to us. So that works totally fine. And basically, if I were to go in and take out, I mean, any of them, right, I can also take out the chest plate over here. You can see we're no longer getting the haste applied again. And if I put on the red breast plate, you can see, bam, there we freaking go. And we have no particles because, well, we've turned that off. And you can also turn off the icon, as I've previously mentioned. So there you go. That is the custom full armor effect added to Minecraft. And that's already for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll modify some vanilla loot tables. I hope to see you there. So, yeah.